Well, hello there, boys and girls. How are you today? Hey, I'm starting a new uh, uh, segment on my uh, program here. Uh, re it's called Religion 101. It's for you, boys and girls, that, that you know, find that because of all the different religions, uh, you know, the go to and fro, and that uh, some of them will... 99.999% of them are deceiving you, boys and girls. But this is, this is, this, I'll, I'll try to make it simple for, for, for you to understand some of the things about the Bible, boys and girls, that you might not grasp, you know, might, you not, might not grasp the fullness of the situation, boys and girls. So let's, let's just start with, with, uh, is God and and Jesus are are they the same? You know, like the Holy Trinity. You know, God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost. They uh, churches a lot of churches boys and girls teach that that they're all the same. You know, they're all they're they're connected. Well, I can kind of kind of relate that to. I know a woman down the street here that I went to high school with, boys and girls, and she was one of the cutest girls in high school. I dated her a few times uh, after high school, uh, before I went on my mission with, with my church, boys and girls. And anyway, uh, uh, she became a little bit crazy, boys and girls. She's, she, she's a nutcase. And... Uh, Anyway, she she believes that she's several different people, boys and girls. She's several different people, and sometimes she talks like different people, you know? I don't know if she's possessed or just plain crazy. I think she's just plain crazy, boys and girls. I guess we could all relate the Trinity to, to ourselves, boys and girls. Sometimes we are full of love. Sometimes we're full of rage and hate. Sometimes we're dopes. We might have smoked a mar <laughs> you know, some marijuana. Why do you, boys and girls, uh, those, that, those of you boys and girls that smoke marijuana and you think it's good for you, why do you think they call marijuana dope? It's simple, boys and girls. If you think about it, you're put on this earth to do what? To think, to think, boys and girls. Marijuana has another name, and that's dope, boys and girls, because you'll be a dope. You're not only a dope to smoke marijuana, boys and girls. doesn't matter what form you, if you have a, a smoke a joint, maybe you can eat a gummy bear that has marijuana in it, or maybe a cookie. It's all the same, but it's it's called a dope for a reason, boys and girls, because you'll be a dope. Your mind will become a dopey mind, and if that's what you want, boys and girls, by all means, just keep it up. Now, some people can be sweet, loving, act, act like they're sincere. Be mean, be hurt, and and those are all characteristics of of who of yourself of, of of me, Ron. You know, and all those people, all those different things are inside of me, boys and girls. Now I have a father, and I have a grandfather, I have a grandmother, but but they're not part of me, are the boys? You know, they're really not part of me, boys and girls. They're not inside of me, or they're not sectioned off in me. Like, maybe my grandfather is my this part of my body, and my, maybe my grandmother is this part of my body, you know. But, you know, or they're all kind of smashed together like a, like a trash compactor, boys and girls. No, they're separate. They're separate individuals, because if I reached out and took those people and put them, you know, so they, so they didn't have a, 
a, uh, a life of their own, then that would be called, what would they be called, boys and girls? Kidnapping? Uh, holding someone against their own will? Identity theft? I don't know. I mean, you could call it a, a few things, I guess, but anyway, uh, so some people think of the Trinity, that, that God and the Father, they're, they're are God, yeah, God the Father and, and Jesus Christ, they're the same person, boys and girls. But the Bible doesn't say that, does it, boys and girls? No, it doesn't say that. There's lots of things in the Bible, lots of uh, uh, scripture references in the Bible that, uh, uh, passages that, that say that they're separate individuals, boys and girls. Uh, for instance, the Garden of Gethsemane, when, when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane, um, and when he uh, was praying, boys and girls, and it, he was asking his father, he wasn't asking himself, boys and girls, he was asking his father that if it's possible for this cup to, you know, to be taken away from him, this burden of him being crucified. But then he said, not my will, but your will be done. Now, was he talking to himself, boys and girls? Was he that crazy? And being, you know, starting to hallucinate in the Garden of Gethsemane, was he that crazy and mixed up that he was starting to talk to himself? Well, he, he was talking to his father. I mean, why would you talk? Why would you have to talk to yourself if you are if the if the father is you? you no, know, if if the father if you're already God and the father and why would why would you have to talk out loud? Why 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 would you have to pray? I mean, you know. I mean, are you talking to yourself? He was talking to his father. That's what he's doing, boys and girls. And what, what, is it, what does it mean in the Bible? It says, Christ was on the right hand of God. Was it Stephen? I can't remember who it was. I remember who exactly it was. Stephen, I think, looked into the heavens and saw Jesus on the right hand of God. What does that mean, boys and girls? Was Jesus the right hand of, uh, of God? I mean, here, here's God, here's Christ. I mean, I, I, I don't get a, If he was on the right hand of God, doesn't that mean they're separate? I would think that means they're separate, boys and girls. When he was baptized, when Christ was baptized... And came out of the water. He came straight way out of the water, boys and girls. He wasn't sprinkled. He went into the water. And he came straight way out of the water. Means he was emerged in the water, boys and girls. And then a voice came from heaven. And he said, This is my beloved son, and who I am well pleased. Now, was he a ventriloquist, boys and girls? Was Jesus a ventriloquist and just kind of, you know, threw his voice up into heaven and, you know, maybe, you know, I don't know why he would want to be a ventriloquist at the time. But either he was a ventriloquist or, or his father was actually talking to him. He wasn't talking to himself, was he? No? No? I mean, the father wasn't talking to him, but he was talking, this is my beloved son, who, in whom I'm well pleased. Doesn't make sense, boys and girls, does it? Huh? I think in uh, John 20, uh, 17, uh, Jesus, I think that the woman at the tomb uh, saw Christ or recognized it was Christ. I think Jesus was saying, why do you weep, woman? Uh, don't you know 
he is risen or whatever, whatever it was. And as soon as the woman recognized that it was Christ, um, I was trying not to get emotional. And I'll, I'll get back on a level, boys and girls, that, that boys and girls can understand that. That Christ, when the woman wanted to embrace Christ, she, he, she, he said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am descending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. He didn't say, boys and girls, that he uh, go uh, that he's ascending to himself. I'm ascending to my father. I am the father, baby. I'm ascending to myself, to your God, or to my God and your God. Doesn't doesn't that make sense that? God and Jesus are separate. They're different. I don't know. Mark 10, 18. Jesus said to him, uh, someone was calling him good. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. Jesus didn't say, when someone called him good, he didn't say, right on, baby, right on. Got that right? He didn't say that. He says, why do you call me good? There is only one good. That's God. He didn't say, yeah, that's right, baby. That's right. That's me. I'm good. He didn't say that. He says, there's only one good, and, and that's God. How can they be the same? Duh. How about uh, God is a spirit? How about when he... Uh, uh, after his resurrection, he appeared to the apostles, and they were frightened. And what did, what did Christ say? Touch me not, or touch me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and blood as you see me have. I looked at a, uh, something on the internet a little while ago. It says, does God have a physical body? Handle me and see, for a spirit doth not have flesh and bones, or flesh and bones, as you see I have. So it's flesh and bones as you see me have, not flesh and blood. Okay. Handle me and see, for a spirit doth not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. Now, here, here's the kicker, boys and girls. Jesus clearly said, a spirit does not have flesh and bones. God, therefore, being a spirit, does not have a physical form. That's a, that doesn't even make sense. Handle me and see, for a spirit doth not have flesh and bones as you see me have. That makes sense. That makes clear sense. And then, then it says, then they say, Jesus clearly said a spirit does not have flesh and bones. That's true. That's what, they, that's what he said. God, therefore, being a spirit, doesn't have a physical form. God, therefore, being a spirit, doesn't. He just, he just said, it just said that, that God uh, has flesh and bones. It says, God, therefore, being a spirit, does not have a physical form. Duh! Which is it? Is he a spirit, or does he have flesh and bones? Christ said, touch me and see. A spirit does not have flesh and bones, as you see that me have. And to further convince him, he ate fish and bread. A spirit can't do that. A resurrected body can Boys and girls, don't, you know, think. Just think about it, boys and girls. Just think about uh, these things and, and other things, boys and girls. It's not rocket science. 
It's just, all you have to do is have a little bit of logic and think about it, boys and girls. These aren't difficult questions, are the boys and girls, huh? I don't, I don't know, honestly, I don't know why there are so many religions that claim that they're the same person when there's so many places in the Bible, so many scriptures in the Bible that say they're not the same person. Unbelievable.